J-20 be used for information warfare? The latest report, citing an article from a Chinese military magazine, argues that the role of fifth-generation aircraft in information warfare has expanded in recent times due to the upgrade of aircraft capabilities. In a published article, it was stated that experts were looking for a fifth-generation fighter that could also function as a tactical electronic jammer, a small tactical early warning aircraft, high-speed stealth reconnaissance. Following reports of an increase in the J-20 fighter jet's ability to command a swarm of drones, China appears to be looking to upgrade its stealth aircraft for information warfare. According to a recent report by SCMP, the dual-seat model could be used as a tactical electronic jammer and an advanced early warning aircraft on the battlefield of the future. The J-20 has been developed with increased stealth and mobility in mind, and has the potential to provide access to a range of air warfare options previously unavailable. The J-20 Mighty Dragon entered service in 2017. The twin versions of the aircraft have been in the limelight for a while, with several images regularly circulating the internet. The first and second prototypes of the dual-seat J-20 were launched in October 2021 and August 2022, respectively. While flying, a single pilot will find it difficult to communicate strategy with other aircraft or perform early warning tasks. However, the J-20 twin seats can allow these activities to be carried out simultaneously. In the J-20 twin seat, the article says, the front seat pilot will be responsible for flying while the rear seat pilot will be responsible for jamming. This stealth, high-speed fifth-generation tactical jamming platform will be a nightmare for enemy electronic equipment. That being said, the J-20 will function much more effectively as a small early warning aircraft thanks to the complete separation of the rear seat pilot from the front seat pilot's duties in terms of communication and command. J-20 is currently the only fifth-generation fighter with a dual-seat variant under development. The model has been hailed as an essential element of China's growing air power. Recently, the state broadcaster featured a dual-seat J-20 leading six-sharp GJ-11 sword-style stealth attack drones. This may be the first time official media has acknowledged that the manufacturer is making a dual-seat J-20 variant to house gun officers. Furthermore Shenjinka, a spokesman for China's Air Force, claimed last month that the country's five theater commands were using Chinese military stealth fighter jets. Jinka claimed that warplanes had been stationed near potential flashpoints such as the Taiwan Strait, South China Sea, and East China Sea. SCMP quoted Akhil Kadidal, an aviation specialist at defense industry publisher Jane's, as suggesting that installing early warning systems and electronic intelligence equipment into the J-20 could be tricky. He argues that the aircraft has limited capabilities to incorporate next-generation internal early warning systems. The aircraft's early warning and electronic intelligence capabilities need to be improved, therefore, China will be asked to build an external pod. But no imagery has yet been used to support the J-20's integration of such external technologies. Despite the challenges, Gatidal believes the modifications are feasible because China has a history of making such modifications and is interested in turning basic combat-capable aircraft into electronic intelligence assets. According to Song Vengping, former instructor of the People's Liberation Army, the article reflects trends in aircraft development. The J-20 is likely to gain more advanced features, such as electronic jamming and early warning, Thongping said. According to a 2016 U.S. Department of Defense assessment, the development of the J-20, China's advanced aircraft, is an important step in the country's ambitions to increase its capacity for regional power projection and to attack nearby air bases and facilities.